Music in Monterey is really fun, and there's a lot of changes that help you navigate, download, and find new music. So right now, I've opened up the music app, and you can see I'm browsing my own library. I've got recently added. I'm browsing by artist right now. So you see they're there alphabetical on the left side. I can browse by album. I can even browse by songs. And when you're browsing, you can sort in a variety of different ways. So if I want to sort by time because I'm looking for a song that fills an exact amount of time or by artist, easy to do. Now, albums in your library and songs in your library are a compilation. They could be songs that you've purchased, songs that you've ripped over the years, or songs that you've downloaded from Apple Music. So if you are an Apple Music subscriber, you can browse Apple Music and add songs to your library. This way you can download them locally. If you're going on a plane or somewhere where you won't have internet, you can still listen to them. So for example, right now if I hit browse and I go through and I look at all this different music that's available, I can find I Love You by The Neighborhood, that album. I'll click on the three dots and I will simply add this to my library. I could add it to a playlist too and make a new playlist of just this album or add all the songs to a playlist I already have. But for now, I'm just going to add it to my library. So when I do that and I browse artists, if I go and look for The Neighborhood, and I'll type the first few letters, I don't have to type the, there they are, The Neighborhood. And there's the album from Apple Music. So again, I didn't buy this. This album is from Apple Music, the streaming service that I pay for, but it shows up right there. I can remove it from my library. And now it's not stored locally anymore, and it won't show up when I'm searching for songs. So that's the cool thing is that Apple Music, yes, it's a streaming on-demand service, but I can add stuff to my music library that I'm going to listen to often and keep it downloaded locally. Now, when you have a song open up, so let's say I decide to open up and listen to a song, okay, and I'm playing that song. I'll pause it just so it doesn't play over while I'm speaking. You can do a couple of things. I can view the lyrics by clicking on the lyric button right here in the upper right. And one of the great things about using the lyrics is you can skip to a part in the song by the lyrics. So when I go there and I want to go to this line here, I click on it, take a look. It skips to that part of the song. Really handy if you're a musician and you're trying to learn the song, or if you just want to skip and show someone the part of the song that you really like. So I've got this tool on the right side that's going to be my playing next and my history tool. So right now I'm playing this song by ACDC, then it's going to jump down to the next album. But what I can do is I can turn on autoplay based on any one of these songs. So if I take this song and I hit autoplay, it'll take that song that I listened to last and then generate a playlist, an automatically playing playlist of music that is similar to the one that I just played. So as you can see, I listened to Back in Black and now we've got some Metallica, some Black Sabbath, some Judas Priest, some Def Leppard, all other songs that are in that same type of hard or heavier rock genre. And so that allows me to discover new music or listen to other music in my library if I'm in the mood for that. Another cool thing is to be able to use AirPlay from a device to my computer. So I can actually AirPlay from the music app right here on my phone into the computer if I want to. All I have to do is open up the music app. So I've opened up my music app on my phone and I just go ahead and open up a song. And I'll tap that AirPlay button down there at the bottom, and you'll see what shows up is my MacBook Pro. So it shows up as if it were a speaker. I tap that, and now the song is going to go ahead and play back from my MacBook Pro. I can just play songs. If I've got my MacBook Pro hooked up to some great speakers or something like that, I don't need to navigate from my computer. I can sit on my couch and just play songs right from my phone to another Mac, which is a really great feature.